What is going on everybody, Estas here. Welcome back to yet again another video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing an overall market update as always, taking a look at the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ. We're going to be doing a trading update as well, talking about what did I end up doing in terms of my trades? Did I make any swing trades? Did I place any trades to swing? Am I day trading? Did I day trade today? We're going to be talking about that in today's video, as well as my personal opinion on the market. Where do I see it heading over the next week? What do I think a couple of scenarios that can play out over the next week are? And we're going to be talking about the specific tweet that I'm sure a bunch of you guys have heard of by now that I think pumped up the market towards the end of today. And that tweet was from the man himself, Mr. Donald Trump, President Donald Trump. So let's talk about that, guys. But before we do, actually, one more quick announcement. For those of you guys that want me to talk about a stock or an ETF, leave a comment down below on this video. Typically on Sunday, I'm talking about 10 stocks or ETFs that I'm watching for the upcoming week and some that you guys actually call out for me to personally analyze on the video. So drop a comment here or in the call-out section in our Discord group chat, link down below of a stock, an ETF, and I'll get to it. So without further ado, guys, let's just hop right into it now. So the SPX ended up closing the day miraculously up $10.68, up 0.37 in terms of percent, guys. And let me tell you, today was an absolute roller coaster. You thought a couple of days ago was a roller coaster. Today was even crazier. The point swings that we had in the markets were absolutely ridiculous. So going over here to the Dow Jones Industrial Average, Ended up closing the day up 114 points, up 0.447, uh, or 0.44 rather percent here. Pretty solid green day in terms of the net or the Dow Jones. Going over here to the Nasdaq guys, this is the future, mind you. It's up about 16 points right now, up about 0.21 percent. But if we're going to the one day, one minute to see exactly where it closed at about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard, where I personally am in my time zone. We can see it was about 14 points lower from where we are right now, putting it at about a $2 day in the green, so pretty much a break even. So over the three main indexes that we use that I talk about in this on this channel, you know, it was a pretty solid day in the overall markets, but just looking at the closing price today does not tell the story, the whole story whatsoever. So let's hop into some technicals here and I'll tell you what I've been doing over these past 24 hours, which the gist of it is I've been glued to my TOS Think or Swim platform literally throughout the entire day because there's been a bunch of stuff in the markets, especially something that happened last night that I personally thought would fluctuate the markets a lot, and it did, guys. And that was the tariffs from China. They're going from 10%, or to China, rather. They're 10%. They were yesterday. And Trump jacked them up to 25% on a specific number of goods. And this went through last night. And I, no joke, even when I got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, I was checking the ES here, which is, or which are, rather, rather, the S&P 500 futures, which pretty much runs right throughout the night. So this at about 1.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, again, this is the future. This is after hours pretty much throughout the night on the East Coast. We were down trending pretty heavily. And then at 9.50, once the market opened, we saw that big tank, right? So I kind of wanted to see the whole gist of that is I kind of wanted to see and what I've been waiting for was to see how the market was going to react if those tariffs were in place. And originally it started the downtrend and then we saw that big drop. But one thing that I'm seeing here, guys, and why I'm still being pretty cautious and why I'm being cautious, we'll get into that in a second here. But what I'm seeing on the SPX is a potential breakout, right? Is this you know, another one of those bull traps? I don't know, right? What do you guys think about that? Let me know. Do you think this is a legitimate breakout where we'll continue to go up? Or do you think we're going to sell off, let's say, if China retaliates to these tariffs, if something escalates next week? Who knows, right? What do you guys think about that? Let me know. But pretty much what we're seeing here on the SPX on the 5-day, five 5-minute five 
is a reversal to the upside. What do we notice here? The 50 and the 180 SMAs, the green, the yellow, they're both resistances. And today, we were actually continuing this downwards pattern here of making lower lows, lower highs, right? We pushed to a lower low, lower low from the previous one that we saw yesterday. Everything was looking solid. But then once we saw this test here at the 180 SMA at about 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard, you know, we broke right out of that, right? We broke right out of it. We pulled back. We even held it as a new support. And we pushed to a higher high, completely blowing through that resistance. So this is why I'm being cautious, right? This could be the start of a breakout pattern, but we're not there yet on a full technical technical confirmation for us to consider it that, right? I'm still being cautious. I still think there's a chance we can sell off here, which is why, to be honest with you all, I'm completely cash right now. You guys saw I took a loss in Google Facebook this earlier this week. I took a profit today on Procter & Gamble, and I did a day trade that we're going to be talking about. But this is why, honestly, guys, I'm being a bit cautious because this could be a false breakout, and I don't want to be caught in the mix here until we get the further confirmation. So going over here to the Dow, it's pretty much the same thing, right? We're noticing the same breakout on the five-day, five-minute. But actually, let's go back to the SPX and see a longer-term view. We're noticing on the SPX here that we are holding above the 2855 level of support and it seems like we are pushing up now to test that 50 simple moving average. So I would say right now the next uh, resistance on the SPX is at about let's say 2900. So keep an eye on that level for next week. If we end up getting rejected and maybe breaking below 2855 again, we might be heading down. That's what I'm personally thinking right now. But again, it, it hangs in the air right now with a bunch of the drama that's going on. I personally don't think... Um, Everything in terms of the volatility in the stock market is quite over yet, and I'm going to talk about that in a second here. So let's go back to the NASDAQ very quickly. We can see, or actually the Dow rather, not the NASDAQ. The Dow, again, just like the SPX, very similar pattern here. We're holding the 180 SMA support on the 184-hour chart. We're still maintaining the 2500 level, or that rough area in terms of a uh, support as well. We actually sold off rough close to that area I think we bounced on top of that area as a support yet again from yesterday which is a good sign here for the Dow and if we're going back to that five minute five day chart we can see the same thing right this is kind of a double bottom almost which does signify a potential bullish reversal we are getting the bullish cross here of the 50 SMA above the 180 SMA and we are getting candlesticks above resistances but again I don't want to be caught in a false breakout here I want to get a further trend up before even taking any swing positions quite yet. So that's what I'm looking at in terms of the Dow, the SPX, and uh, what's it called? The, um, the uh, NASDAQ. And the NASDAQ, again, not really anything crazy today, right? We're just consolidating here on the 7530. Not much, not much to say, right? Old, just holding an old resistance as a new support. On the five day, five minute, you know, same thing. We're seeing that potential breakout here. Keep an eye for the 7650 level. That could be a potential breakout spot if we break that resistance. And now let's just quickly talk about this tweet that Trump sent that I'm sure a bunch of you guys already saw, but I'm going to read it very quickly on this video that I was literally watching. You know, I have his tweets on notifications, by the way, and I recommend you guys do that. If you are on Twitter, if you're not on Twitter and you're trading stocks, you should probably get on Twitter just to follow Donald Trump, right? Just put his things on notifications so he tweets something, it pops to your phone, and you can see how the market reacts to it. And I kid you not, I was watching the SPX literally as he tweeted what I'm about to read to you. And let me tell you this. So at about 2.30, that was... It was probably right around here, 3, 3.30. It says about three hours ago the tweet was made, and I'm recording this video at about 6.50. So we can see here, over the course of the past two days, this is what he tweeted. 
The United States and China have held candid and constructive conversations on the status of the trade relationship between both countries. The relationship between President Xi and myself remains a very strong one, and conversations into the future will continue. In the meantime, the United States has imposed tariffs on China, which again we talked about, which may or may not be removed depending on what happens with respect to future negotiations. So, I personally think here this pumped up the stock market because it gave the stock market some optimism, right? I personally think this is just leading us on. I'm not really falling for this, you know, this this go this go lucky like happy, you know, President Trump and Xi relationship. I don't think it's that great of a relationship right now. They're obviously in heavy negotiations, right? No one's really agreeing to anything. There's just a bunch of, you know, tension. And he's just trying to tweet something positive here, in my opinion, to relieve us, the people in the market, the investors, the traders. And if if China retaliates, quite frankly, maybe they slap some tariffs on us. I was reading some stuff about that. You know, this could send the markets down, you know, this next week. This can cause more volatility, right? I'm just being cautious because... I still think there's more volatility to come, to be quite honest with you guys, because China, I don't think they're just going to back down like this. We'll see what happens. So let me know down below in the comment section what you guys um, think about that. And another thing I want to mention very quickly is, remember how during this time period, right, we talked about this in a couple of videos ago, but we were talking and we were seeing Donald Trump you know, he was kind of spewing to, to the media through Twitter that during this time period, everything with China was great, right? They were trying to come to a deal. They were about to come to a deal. He was kind of leading us on, which was pumping up the market, right? And then once we got this, you know, this bad news a couple of days ago, it tanked the market very quick. So just be careful, right? Things can change in a jiffy and don't always just believe everything, right? Because, it could pump up the market, right? People sometimes lie on the media. Not not that I'm saying Trump's lying, but just, just be careful out there. That's all I'm trying to say here. So Procter & Gamble, that's what I traded today. I completely sold out of it towards the end of the day today because we saw the huge move that it did end up making, right? And I wanted to just play it safe here. I took my profits at about $106. Again, I was pretty much watching the market for the latter half of the day here. I took my profits there. This was a swing trade from a couple of weeks ago, and I do plan on re-entering this one, but I just wanted to get out of it just in case the markets get funky on Monday, Tuesday, and then I end up losing my profit, right? So I just wanted to lock it in here. And again, I'm looking to re-enter if the markets point are pointing up on Monday. So what did I end up day trading today, guys? I did day trade ticker symbol AAPL, Apple Corporation, guys, Apple Inc. This one, you know, I was watching mostly large caps this morning as well as the markets and we saw the big tank that the SPX took and Apple actually got hit very hard guys they took a hit all the way down to 192 and as I saw the strong consolidation at this level and then I noticed the markets were starting to pick back up at around 1151 roughly to noon if we go to the SPX we can see that right at about noon it started to take off and we broke that resistance from back at 1115 a.m. Eastern Standard Standard, you know, that was a pretty bullish breakout on the SPX. And what do you know? Apple ended up following that trend. I started to buy in at about 194 into the 195s. And then I ended up selling off a little bit. Actually, was it? Yeah, it was after this dump. And then the little push up here, uh, by the time it filled this gap, I ended up selling. So it was at about 196, like 90 or something like that. So let's say my average cost was at about 194.85. I was buying all the way up here as we broke the gap, you know, up to about 196.90. It was only about a 1%, right? It wasn't a crazy trade, but at this point, profit is profit, and I'm happy with it, guys. These markets are very volatile. We don't know the exact direction that we're going in, and during these time periods, like I said, like I've been saying over the past couple of videos, I like day trading volatility. I like day trading some large cap stocks on maybe a comeback, right? Like we saw today. And I kind of keep the swing positions 
on the left, right? On the uh, kind of on the back burner until I find some better trends, right? In the overall market. So that's pretty much it for today's trading update. Really, I'm just all in cash right now, um, you know, waiting for this upcoming week. Very excited to see what happens, guys, because again, China can retaliate. Who knows, right? Maybe Trump opens his mouth again, starts talking crap, you know, on China or something crazy, right? Who knows what's going to happen at this point? Today's day and age, literally one tweet, one one click of a button can change the entire market in the matter of minutes. It just blows my mind the day and age that we're living in. But that's it, and that's how we have to, you know, deal with it. We have to just realize that's how it is nowadays, right? So. In terms of what I'm looking at for next week, guys, just keep an eye out for Sunday's video. I don't want to keep this video um, too long. And again, just drop a comment down below with what you want me to talk about. An ETF, a stock, just drop a ticker down below. And if I see potential in it myself, I'll talk about it, right? And also, don't feel shy. Feel free, rather. Feel free, please to DM me on Instagram, on Discord, wherever you guys want. If you have any questions, any stocks you want me to break down personally to you, you know, if you want have any questions about long-term investing, stocks you want me to look at, you know, I'll do that for you happily. So that's it for today's video, guys. Drop a like if you, if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that I make a video. Keep an eye out for Sunday's video, guys. It's going to be a 25-30 minute video of me breaking down stocks. I'll catch you all then. There might be an upload on Saturday. Maybe not, right? We'll see what ends up happening. But if there is, I'll catch you in that video. I'll see you all. Have a great weekend. Peace out.